Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. My name is Nilo. So this is episode eight of our Let's Play. And look at that beautiful green lush landscape around us. This is England. And can I look at a map? We have just managed to sail in here across some really ripe raid opportunities and then uh, make a landfall here at our new little town, Raymondstorp. And what we we have so many things to do here. It's, it's unbelievable how many things Survey there are. the area, Sudan. So you can see here, these are all the buildings we can make. Some of them we can't make right now. And uh, so you, oh, this one for example, right? You can see uh, we're there. Trading post. It requires some supplies and some supplies. I can't remember what they're called, but materials and supplies, whatever. And we want to get all of these. The first one we need to get is the blacksmith. Of course you want the blacksmith first. How can you be a good Viking if you don't have a proper blacksmith equipped? And then there's definitely this hidden order thing that we absolutely want as well. And Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. Nope, it's very can nice. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? <laughs> good, good. The Viking. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you are the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the oar of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Monk yes. huts. Bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you, and put it to better use than they did. All right, new intel. Oh, okay, so I get these ones are the ones that flash up now. Location discovered, Melbourne. And do we get more locations? They, they just jump really so. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was the only one that we actually got. Oh. Monastery raids. Raiding heavily guarded locations is the best way to find wealth wealth chest containing supplies and raw materials. That's what they're called. Supplies and raw materials. <clears throat> Both are needed to construct buildings at the settlement. The raid is done when all nearby wealth chests have been looted. Your ears and listen all. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. At last! We will crack these Christian monasteries Learn, like a thing. row of hen's eggs! The Saxons know we are here, Doc. The monasteries will be well done. Run up the sail! Ah, I'm nothing more than priests and prayers, I'd wager! Exactly. Let's uh, see where we're going. This one is... Hmm. I don't know... The level of it. Ah, we'll take this one. We'll go here. Boop. That seems like a good place to go to raid. It is part of our quest chain. So, <clears throat> when we get to here, one of the big things... Uh, uh, please stop the signing. Uh, don't want to get DMCA claims on my uh, here because of some stupid Viking song. Anyway, um, we are going to do some raiding. And I'll focus on the big strokes on this one. And not sort of clean out all the weird things that are happening in this world. Uh, there is one location. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There. There we go. Raid. Raid. All right, let's go with the raid. Good stuff. Construction materials. I somehow have two construction materials. That's also an option. Let's ping. So I really like this uh, idea. Look at them. All the peasants are running away. And we're just gonna go straight in. We're not allowed to kill civilians. Whoa! Oh, look at that. We can just stumble. Oh, 
that's that actually hurt. Okay. Really? Oh no, I was about to. Oh no. Ah, that is so embarrassing. I was like, ah, well, we, whatever. We're we're strong enough. Oh my god, I'm bad. Ah, I was just being overly uh, aggressive. It happens. Luckily, this is not a Dark Souls hey, game, look, so. Look there, a monastery. Oh yes, a monastery. Well, let's let's pretend that we. Uh, this is the first time we've been here. What? You couldn't have parked it next. All right, we'll just try again and pretend nothing happens. Oh look, a monastery. This is going to be fun to play our very first raid. Never have we tried this before. Hey guys, let's uh, group up. So we can do a lot of fighting, or we can do a lot of uh, of actually claiming the materials. But it's kind of both are both are good options. Stop! Stop! Ah, damn it. It's so crowded in there. Fight smart. Uh, Use your glimmer. Ow! Damn spears. Damn spears. Boom. I don't like spears. They have too long range. Oh, that two-handed hammer. Can I get that? I'd love to get that two-handed hammer. Boom. Got it. Alright. Do we have some loot from this? Alright, let's go for the first one. That's in here. Ah, that looks like it flips the door, just smash the way through it. Yeah, 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 you better get out of here. Doors open. I like the fact that you can't open these alone, that means you can't just sneak in and get all the materials. You must be a part of the room. Got some more? Oh, if there's more, there's definitely more. Door blocked. Psh. All right, let's uh, see what you got here. I don't know what to do. Ow! We have this. Mm, those block, those parries just don't really seem to work very well. At least for me. Trying dodging here. Come on. Hey, strip the fool. Alright, let's see, 32 meters this way, I'll take you, oh you're still, you're still around, oh, they just get knocked down so easily, that might be a recurring thing here when it comes to fighting, that one, so let's see if we can get into this building. And a door that is bl what? There was a little ping on it. Oh, there we go. Come, help me with this. Oh, all right. Let's see what we got in here. Your turn's ha. up, kid. Smash! Stun attack. Let's see if we can get some. This is faster. Oh. Alright, that Ooh. one's good. And force open. Hey, can't do this alone. So that's two of those, and I think there are three in this location. Go, rig. Oh, rig completed. Yeah, but we're not done yet, are we? Raw materials? There must be more goodies. Uh, not really like super important goodies. I think would it's kind of worth going there now that we are in here in this city. This town on lock door. Open door. Let's see. This is my loot. I mean, it, would be, it would be such a waste not taking these one away here. And where's the other one? That one is just 60 meters this way. Hmm. 
Or that one, downstairs. Alright. Do we go in here or do we... Oh, there's a door. Do we also have a basement? Oh, yes. There we go. That's what we're looking for. And there might be a little... Everywhere I turn, there's sickness. It sweeps through the monastery like a plague. I hear the groans, the wailing. We've been burning the ones who have died for fear of the corpse will infect the ground. They are buried beneath. God help us. Well, that's more... More stuff for the... Loot here let's see and then we are actually done with that so we can actually just go all the way back this is this is way faster mm, was it smart though maybe I should have gotten a checkpoint but this is just too tempting to just rush back here That's just a, that's a special attack. Actually, what if I what if I change it so that I so that I da, 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 that one and that one? What would be the special attack? Ah, so Back so soon, and we good news. I hope. I think we have all we need. So that's just a damage thing. Hmm. So I can build the forge, it takes 30, and I have one more, I think I have 30 more, well I do have 30 more. Look at that beautiful location. Sweet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, this is wonderful, Aver. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Vornberg. Come visit me anytime. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunnar. Have no doubt. <laughs> Hello, Hello, and well met. Uh, that, maybe I should have looked. What's that? I don't know what bring yeah, my gear. Your stores. All right. We have some things that we haven't upgraded, so let's... Uh, oh, wait. Oh, I don't have it. <gasps> wow, this sucks. <laughs> A light shield as well. What is that? Shield. Raven Clan shield. Oh, okay. Yeah, Nothing we do have, I can do not have ingots. Yeah, that's because we're not I doing clean sweep leave. in this. Uh, so we're we'll focusing on the main Fight quest. well, Eivor. I will. I will. So we're going to be short on pretty much all the crafting materials in this playthrough here. Uh, can I upgrade this? Can I upgrade that? Nope. I can upgrade this one, but do I want to? Maybe it's just like some other thing. Oops. Some other things I want to upgrade. Pressing the wrong button. There we go. Just there. Okay, we need more leather. And uh, we do have one more option to build stuff, and that is probably going to be this one if we can. Uh, you don't want to talk to us? There you go. Hi, Them. Now that you and Basim are settled, what will you do? We have work to do. Starting in the cities of England London, Jorvik, Winchester all three are infested by members of the same order to which Kyotve belonged. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kyotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. Oh, absolutely. Greetings. That's absolutely what we want to do, and that's the, why we got the next 30. Look at that. Bureau for that. Hidden Ones Bureau. <clears throat> now, this is... Maybe it's just me who don't really have the experience with Secret Orders, but do you want to put your sign outside the Secret Order my building? Work, Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it for as long as you live among us. 
I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranry about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? Of course. I will. Lead on. And now for a very slow walk. <clears throat> so everywhere around the city you will see these uh, dot dot dots. That's someone. Ah! Yeah. Dear heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You would risk your health and your life to please Basim. That I do not understand. I, I should do not, not expect understand that. Do. Isn't that the pain? Same when we first arrived, concept. I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, so a lot, a lot around the city there will be... Uh, uh, there will be some people who will request us that we... Oops. I am. I have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. Yeah, so they'll be wanting us to build their building and uh, we'll build some of them. We'll figure out which ones are the most and important. And what is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. Oh, you More left. Riddles. That was a kind of useless what fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. Well, still no clearer. <laughs> it is a thing True. better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our Brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Ooh, loot. Like your I, meditation, I I go over there. it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. Yeah, keep talking. It aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we are climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again. The shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me from this cliff, is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? Not much faith we have in Hytham. To perform the leap of faith, you must give character. yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Hmm. Then your mind is already attuned <clears throat> to my lesson. That's a... That's a very fatalistic way of, of looking at the world. Right, if your fate is already spun, that means you can do be as reckless as you want because eh, if you are destined to die, you are destined to die. Hey Sunin. That's not Sunin. That's uh that's food. Ha! Ah, look at that sniper! Damn! <laughs> I will leap first. On my word you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. <laughs> I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Uh... Wait! And watch! <laughs> Little wink. Hytham! Uh, Hytham! I'm sure it's fine. Pig-headed fool! Where's my... Are you injured? You see? My face grew stronger than my fear! And that loam cushioned your fall. Eivor! I have not seen this sight. Shut up. Yeah! <laughs> A Good perfect stuff. fall. And how did it feel? <clears throat> Good. You spoke true. It was madness and vigor. A purging of fear. Oh. 
A gift I oh, give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all hidden ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join. But that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. Mm. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. And yet again, a useless ride on, on the boat. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek mm -hmm. to rid England of its deepening rot. What Where these hopes that meet, one is. our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless jarls and bumbling thanes. Yet look more closely and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the Order has corrupted all. Yeah, I killed the dummy. All right, we done? <clears throat> Basson has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranbury about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well That's for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Atham, for all of this. All right, so here we have Order of the Ancients. The Order of the Ancients is a secret society of pagans that has infiltrated every level of the society to spread their dogmatic worldview. To root them out, clues can be found anywhere in the world. Zealots, those are the ones on the edges of the map. Uh, then, are hired mercenaries that assist the order to enforce their decrees. They're tough knights around, found around the world. Uh, finding and eliminating them will provide clues to the identity of the order members. Unveiled and eliminate. Clues can be also be earned by forging alliances, exploring England, and assisting those in need. Once all clues for a particular member are found, their identity is revealed and they can be tracked down. Order hierarchy. The order hierarchy have a hierarchy system assassinating a palatinus or priest will provide intel of their maj magister and eventually the grand magister of the order good so we have some the crosier that's a nobleman in lincolnshire lincolnshire is a member of the order of the ancients aha the tang a nobleman in grand britishire is a member of the order of the ancients aha and do we have one here the keel Kiel is a Norseman who left Ruya Fulke. Mm -hmm. Interesting. But we already have some someone. Uh, he can be found in the Saxon military camp at Utbeck, across the river north of the town of Grantbridgeshire. Grantbridge in Grantbridgeshire. Palatinus G of Gifu, the Scabbard. He's known as the Scabbard, facilitates all the orders, clandestine military activity in Grantbridgeshire. He procures weapons and issues exceptional orders to select units often by the plague do you have, do you give food grew up as a bandit uh, the order took notice it proved to sell to be an adept but let's mark her and what else do we have hunter uh the baldrick and he is the marketplace in town in letter chestershire and then we have kjotve of course we have dealt with him cool that is great we uh breaking the order now we don't have any more, but now uh, now the question is oh 
Did we? We did to get the quest here. Settling down. Speak to Sigurd. Uh, that's... Sigurd shows the place, but there's so much to be done. Alright, let's go speak to Sigurd then. I think we forgot that one. Maybe we should have done that. Ooh, look at that. 3,400 XP. And a few rations. Uh, let's see. Note from Hytham. Order clues. Note from Hytham. Order clues. Yeah, we got some clues there. All right, let's talk to Sigurd and see what he's up to. Saxons break their kingdoms into smaller categories. Eivor! What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on that wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl Looks of this nice. clan, but you and I lead together as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. It's interesting that he carries a sword. Two-hander? Yeah. Get acquainted. There's a bed. A bed better than many I've slept in, and a good place to recover. A letter box. For messages and requests. Read your letter. I hope this room fits your needs as we grow our reputation in this land and make new allies, friends and allies. It will be important to keep constant communication with them. Randvi will drop any letter she received into this box. Have a look from time to time. So that's like uh, probably something like going to sort of drawing attention. We all don't know encampment, born from a suit heap left behind by the sons of Ragnar. It may look a bit shabby now, but we currently have capacity for the following services. Blacksmith, hidden ones, stable and aviary, training post, barracks. Once the blacksmith's forge is up and running, I would recommend building the hidden ones bureau. Hmm, there we go. That's, uh, we already did that. Good, good, good. All right, that's a good hmm. location. Not much, but it is mine. <laughs> Not much, but it is mine. And the allegiance map. I will uh, talk to Sigurd. And this is probably someone who just wants us to do stuff for Hello, them. Hello, Eivor. Hello. You're ready to ride at a moment's notice. Count on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. Oh. With glory Basil at its end. Farewell, Eivor. But, but why now? Dark, please. What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Leticestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from right. growing this settlement, mm. you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. What? Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. <laughs> Do as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. Hey, I thought we were buddies. I like that guy. Simpleton, but like him. A new home. <clears throat> Talk to Randy. Right? Yeah. Uh, reach settlement level 2. Uh, that's actually not what I wanted. I wanted this one. I like living in the longhouse. I feel like a Jarl. Uh, can I not get that one? Oh, see, that's the one I want. Track quest. That one. Talk to Randy. There. That's the one I want. Uh, there you are. You wanted to see me. As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances. I am clad with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? 
My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. I like. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So, where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leather-Chestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok. Or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. And what's more, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with contacts of his own in the cities. I added his information to the map if you would like to know what he has discovered. Show me I want to see the alliance. This is a really map. cool feature, I think. Clients Mac, if you want your settlement to thrive in England, your clan must forge alliances. Pledge to a territory to confirm your interest in an alliance. As pledges are compl completed and allies are made, other territories will be made available. So basically we have Grantebridgeshire, we have London, that's a bit high level, and we have Leicestershire. So we are going to take... Uh, what is that? That's a that's probably a encampment increase. I think we'll take this one. Mm, or are we? Yeah, we'll take this one. Ooh. Tell me about Grandebridgeshire. A force of Danes, called the Summer Army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grandebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. I will pledge to that location. Boom. Grantebridgeshire. It's the one that surrounds us, so let's get that one under control. I will leave right away. The Good. Great scattered army. And may the blessings of Freya follow. Thank you. Oh, we got skill points for that. Did we just get we have four skill points? Let's uh, unlock some skills here and see where we're going. Uh, we decided apparently to go for sprint attack, which does absolutely nothing. Uh, backstab would be lovely, but also uh, this one we didn't like. That's the one that flips from left to right. So what about up here? There's something we'd like up here. Perfect attack. I don't think that's good. Let's go over here and see. Parry damage. That sounds good. I like parry damage. Um, don't really seem to be pairing as much as I'd like to do. But at least we're going to do that. Alright, so what we are doing now is now we have pledged to Grant Shire. And that is also the location where we have confirmation of that one. So this is this giant area here. Uh, no, only up to the river and then down there. And where we need to go to our quest is this great scattered army. And that's right next to a synchronization point so that seems like a pretty nice place and we're also definitely going to that one at some point so we'll probably just uh, take our ship sail down there and then uh, see what's coming up Ugh, that was annoying but that's definitely going to be a uh, next episode thing because uh, we have run out of time and we've also come to a very nice place to end where we can basically say all right we have we have completed the first settlement good to see uh, construction and we now need to head out to build our first alliance. That sounds good, I think. Let's uh, see, this was just cosmetic, doesn't cost anything. Uh, we'll, we'll want a well, right? Yeah, get a stone well. Ta-da, we got a stone well. And over here, oh that's nice actually. No, I'd rather have that barrel, I like that. Cool. So let's wrap this one up here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this uh, playthrough and I hope that you like the focus on not just cleaning up everything on the map. That's kind of something I'll do on Twitch where we just want to check everything on the map. This one, we were going straight for the main quest of the zone and then uh, just accepting the fact that we can't do as many upgrades as we, as we otherwise would. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care and stay effective.